Hello everyone, I'm really pleased to introduce you to our winter resilience package. Um, you will have heard me talk about health and well-being uh, of all of our staff uh, and how important it is uh, to me and no doubt to you. Uh, and as we know, health, our own health and well-being is more important now uh, than it's ever been um, in terms of the year that we have had so far and the year that we've got to come. And I recognise how hard you're working. Uh, I recognise how you've stepped up uh, in the face of increasing demand and pressure, how flexible people have been, how you've done jobs you've never done before. Uh, and I know you're not only having to balance some of the normal work, but also um, respond to the demands of uh, the coronavirus COVID-19. Uh, with an increasing number of patients in our um, services with COVID-19. So it's all happening together um, and uh, we're about to enter the winter. So uh, staying resilient as strong as we possibly can um, through the winter is going to be really important. And I think our health and wellbeing will be tested this winter, whatever role we have uh, in Swansea Bay. And uh, to look after our patients uh, and look after our teams, we really have to make sure that we look after ourselves. Um, and uh, our colleagues are okay and our teams are okay. Uh, we can only give to our teams if we if we are strong ourselves. So please, however hard it seems and impossible sometimes, take breaks, do stuff outside of work that you enjoy and make sure you take time wherever you can to recharge your batteries. It's so important um, for you, but also for the people that you work with and the patients and, and communities that you serve. What, and as I say, whatever your job is. Um, so think about how you can do um, everything possible to stay emotionally and physically healthy. Um, for me, um, everyone's different. Uh, I'm, I enjoy swimming and I enjoy walking. I'm not running as I used to, but I'm sure I'll get back to that when I've got a bit more time. But fresh air uh, and a bit of a swim just just completely changes my head uh, and I'm sure you'll have your own uh, examples of what what you do so thanks uh, to the health and well-being team uh, who've put together this resilience package for winter well done it's absolutely fab um, have a look through uh, you will find useful tips in it on well-being you'll see at a glance all the resources that are available to you and how you can access them um, you've been through a lot this year and uh, remember to prioritize yourself uh, occasionally and take care of yourselves and each other. I really do hope you find this package useful. Thanks very much. There are a number of resources at your fingertips to help support you over the coming months. These include our very own staff health and wellbeing team. They aim to support you offload any issues you are currently facing and direct you to helpful resources that support your wellbeing. They are also there to help support all staff with the challenges they face during the COVID-19 pandemic. You can contact the team Monday to Friday between 9am and 5pm for confidential support. There are also a number of trade union colleagues that are there to support you. Contact details can be found on the staff side intranet page. The Swansea Bay Chaplaincy Team are offering informal drop-in sessions across all hospital sites. These include Gosainen, Tonner, Kevin Coyd, Caswell Clinic and Tyke Newith. Staff are invited to talk about any concerns they may have and independent support will be provided. You do not need to be religious in order to utilise this service, but if you are, there are a number of chaplains from different faiths who can be requested if you require them. We also have a network of staff health and wellbeing champions. The main purpose of the champions is to increase team members' awareness of wellbeing services, signpost and give appropriate information so that colleagues can seek early support and generally promote health and wellbeing at work. Swansea Bay University Health Board actively encourages feedback. If for any reason you feel you cannot raise a concern through local channels, the Guardian service is there as an additional independent option that can be contacted using the details on screen 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There are also a number of national resources that you might find useful. Samaritans has launched a free and confidential support line for NHS and social care workers in Wales. The volunteers are there to support you when you've had a tough day, are feeling worried or overwhelmed, or if you have a lot on your mind and need to talk. 
Silver Cloud is a web-based cognitive behavioural therapy programme that is filled with a number of helpful resources that can support during this challenging period. This service has been offered for free to all NHS staff until June 2021. Health for Health Professionals Wales is a free confidential counselling service now available to all staff working in NHS Wales. To access any of these services, please use the contact details on screen. Swansea Bay is also running an hour-long training session for staff who manage or supervise colleagues who are exposed to potentially traumatic events. Staff attending will learn more about what constitutes potentially traumatic events and will be provided with a pack to enable them to direct colleagues for further appropriate support. If you would like to book a place at a training session or would like more information, please contact Laura and Khan, whose details are on screen now. The Health Board also supports Taking Care Giving Care mini rounds. These are 30 minute facilitated and structured sessions open to all staff. During the sessions, we create a safe and confidential space for staff to reflect on the values of self-care and compassion. We understand that it might be very difficult to find time to reflect and care for yourself during the COVID-19 pandemic. We would like to help you find the time to pause and provide space for staff to come together, reflect and reconnect in this busy and difficult time. Wellbeing workshops will also be taking place across the health board. Aptly named Resilient Caring the Swansea Bay Way, these workshops will be provided twice a month for up to 40 participants. To book a place, look out for more information on the internet. There are also a number of helpful apps available to download on your mobile phone and tablet. Headspace, Sleepio and Daylight are currently free for all NHS staff. For more information or to find out how long these promotions are running, please check their websites. Swansea Bay University Health Board has signed up to hashtag doing our bit. This is a free online fitness platform available to all colleagues. The platform is an ideal way to get active and features over 40 unique workouts with a range of exercise videos for all fitness levels. This can be accessed using the link on screen or by clicking on the logo. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this presentation useful and that you take advantage of the resources outlined. It is important to remember that you are not alone and we can support one another through this winter period. With a little self-care, compassion for one another and reflection, we can support the health and well-being of our workforce and our community.